Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. In the previous episode we wasted no time in expanding to the left hand side, removing the trees and then putting in the perimeter and first stage wall. We then also planned off where we're going to have our two cell blocks, one of them being designated for low risk non criminally insane inmates and then obviously put in the flooring as well and made some tweaks and changes throughout the facility in this episode we want to build at least one of these cell blocks most likely it will be that low risk one but we'll see how we get on let's also waste no time here and go into objects and find the bookshelf because what i want to do is place a bookshelf in every single one of these rooms now the problem with this is that essentially we have to do it throughout the entire oh hang on that's not correct on that side already making some mistakes there i want to put it right next to their bedside so they've got a bedside table essentially and allows them to then fulfill hopefully this literature need not that we need to fulfill it it is not a critical need something we could probably happily and have done up until this point ignore but we are all about the reform and trying to do what we can in order to help the people in the facility although looking at the rating that we've recently unlocked because only 10 definitely only 10 inmates have been released we can see that yeah basically we're not doing too well it is on a 44 percent i believe rating let me just check that prison grading 44 percent reoffending rate obviously no paroles no escapes nothing like that so overall we are we we have a fairly docile facility. It's not a thing where we've got like riots or anything like that. Any major problems there. We don't have armed guards, we don't have tasers. We obviously we do have sedation and things like that. We do still have some interesting events happen, so we have seen prisoners act up, we have seen them do very, very interesting things and have different behaviours to the standard standard prisoner set. But either way, not something we've left to go to any sort of extreme level we've always been running the proper programs if we check that out we can see that we do have alcohol group therapy it does say 10 finished but people are still working there pharmacological treatment to drug addictions on the go psychiatric consultation 17 finished and 17 treated 100 percent pass rate so that is brilliant and obviously none of them none of the rest is running there it does say that 80 prisoners are up for parole just doesn't work like that so there you are anyway so we've put all of these books in and you can see that that now has an overall effect to say oh See that there? Don't know if you saw that. Both of these prisoners, Welsh and Goodwin, they had their cells searched. And is Welsh searching the cells? That is the case. This is a... Well, this was something that was pointed out in a previous video. And people pointed out that, hang on, is that the prisoners searching the cell? Now, I originally thought that was a bug and there would be a, a search order set for that cell and then they would search it. I think, however, it is just one of the behaviours that the criminal insane inmates can, uh, can go through and experience where they just start searching things like that. So, yeah, just again, more of an interesting quirk there. We can see that for some reason this is completely bright, uh, lit up and everything else. I don't know why that is the case, but hey, huh? Let's go over to our quick build and cloning and we're going to clone this entire cell block. And realistically, we'll go for the far left one because that's where we're going to have our... That's where we're going to have our... I think low risk area. Let's go over to grants and increase our bank loan and we'll just get it done. I mean, there's no reason why we have to sit around and wait. We have got a very good intake. It does say 21,000 there. That is not the case. That's simply because I just realized all of that stuff just spawned in there. Just went bing, it just popped in, teleported in. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, the, we, we have got a very good intake there, but that's not actually accurate because that's based off the previous day's selling, which and intake which actually included a lot of the wood that we removed from the earth as we chopped down all of the trees let's go over to rooms and then to yard and we want to place in two of the yards one and then two obviously we'll put in things there so we'll put like wave benches and bleachers and other things actually no i don't think we will put them in here because they are diff it's different size so this is a bleachers are four across at six so the bleachers will be off to one side so we'll have to figure out what else we can put there we will have to expand the utilities as you can see the utilities are pretty much set there but we'll go ahead and have electrical cable we'll run that right along up to well we don't really need to, to go any further than that so we'll for now we'll run it to there the large pipe will have to do the exact same thing which will run to there and then on the other side the same thing over to there it only needs to go up to this line here Obviously, we haven't got like any extras in. 
I know there's been some discussion regarding we said about the toilets where the prisoners tend to come in here and use these toilets and people say well why didn't you put it like a toilet block around in this spare area the reason for that is it's just too far out the way it they wouldn't go past the these to go to those ones realistically so i don't know if there's much we can do there what we could do instead if we wanted to is move things like the chapel or something over to that side and that would work out but again not too sure whether that would be worth it or not. In terms of our grants, we do have two grants on the go, and that's the really only ones we can run. Oh, well, I guess we can get technically the prison manufacturing facility, which gives us 20 grand, and then we have to produce license plates. We'll never produce that, even though we are getting some low risk prisoners. For a start, low risk prisoners do not like to work in that sort of environment anyway, so it's unlikely they will ever do that course. And if they do, they tend to leave very, very quick because of, well, they're a low sentence prisoner. And also, it just doesn't fit well. You know, you're not going to have a criminally insane facility and then just put loads of workshop saws and presses. They, you know, they have behaviours that are um, unwieldy at times. It's, it's unknown. There can be different triggers and things like that. So you just don't want to be having. You just don't want that sort of environment, really. And Stubbs is apparently running around the outside of the facility. They are shouting for literacy, and if we check over at the needs that should have gone down and yes literature has gone down 16 prisoners have that need 11 uh, are concerned but only one is desperately in want of that need so that has been fulfilled luxuries on the other hand is flying right up because we have now put in the extra wall around the outside if we check the that we can see that is definitely set to staff only so nothing can be flung in over into the facility we also have the metal detectors there we have metal detectors here we have the patrols around the outside of these cells and cell blocks so with the guard dogs so they smell that sort of thing so basically the only place that the prisoners can get contraband is from within the facility itself so nick it from most likely the security room the infirmary that sort of thing it still can be brought in but it's most likely that we'll detect it first so yeah let's go over to our well this is gonna be a bit difficult actually because i'm gonna to have to turn off let's go over to intake and turn off criminally insane and the reason for that is i want to start setting up these things here so we need to go to deployment insane sec only all of these will be set to insane sec like that and that means that no normal risk prisoners can come in here the same is also true for this one where we have min sec but we can't we need to build that first so we can't if we built that with foundation we would then be able to place the designation of minsec only straight away but at this stage we can't because it's it's in that sort of flux state where it's not built but it is being built and you know clone stuff let's go over to the blue patrols and we're going to set up a couple of patrols around the outside of this one i'm not necessarily going to assign someone to it straight away this is where we have a bit of a problem but what we can do thanks to the extra colors that we now have access to we can change this one to magenta and even though it does meet there it will not go through one another oh you can see that there it actually changes it to it changes it to white to denote that there's two patrols in there that's fine i'm not going to assign anyone to that because there's no one in there to you know there's, there's no point at this stage so that is now fine i think we will go ahead and put a phone tap in because we'll have the unknown traits coming in with the with the low risk prisoners not not separately as an entity you understand but you know those prisoners so we'll have to see what those are uh, we also probably want to maybe change up there's some fighting going on around here. It looks like Duncan here, age 18, volatile, criminal, insane, weak, currently unconscious, misconduct is destruction and attacked staff. So they are being healed by the orderly there, which is excellent. They will then be escorted over to here. There you go. Picked up. And they are being escorted to there. And the question is... No. No. No option for CIs. I don't know if you even get informants. I really don't know. We can see there is no supply, no demand of... Can you tell we've just finished the foundation over on the left-hand side there? <laughs> There's no supply, no demand for weapons, which is what I would have expected. It's not a violent facility at all. 
there can be some violent behaviour, but it's not due to malice. Like prisoners attacking another because they stole a tin of peaches or something. Tools, there is no supply and a little bit of demand. Narcotics, there is... That's the highest demand. I would have expected that because several of our inmates are addicts. They have the addict trait. Luxuries, similar thing. There's no supply, but there is a fairly decent demand. It's only around about a third, so it's not a thing like major there. But overall, it's it's fairly reasonable, I think. That doctor is trying to go in there to heal up a prisoner here, here, and it looks like that's exactly what they're doing there. So it's, it's interesting that the the oddly healed them up up to a point and then just couldn't be bothered with the rest of it but still escorted them over here anyway so on the left hand side you can see this is all saying yes it's not full we haven't got this in there we haven't got none there etc we do have a bit of a problem with the workers going around this outside bit and whatnot that is something we may have to look at i said i didn't want to place a door in and i still hold to that i really don't want to place a door around the outside the problem with that is, why did all of these prisoners go to the yards there? Hmm. And the cooks are walking around the outside. The problem is that... The cooks are having to come from here and then right across. Whereas if we have that open, they'd be able to go up and out and round. Actually, no, they would, we wouldn't even prefer that, so I don't know. See that? Oh. These pri ah, these workers are tired, so they're going over there. Right, okay, so they're not going around this outside bit as we would have expected. It's just when they're tired, they're going around to there, instead of going all the way back and round. That's sort of what we, what we would have expected. The problem is if we don't have... If we have a door, it could be smashed up and they can start running out. If we don't have a door, it means they can't smash through it, but they can still climb. And if they climb over that, somehow, although to be fair, nobody works in the laundry, so they have to have the strength trait, it means that if they get over there and we've got no guards close, they're going to have to go all the way around. So there's there's positives and negatives for both things, really. Anyway, going to go over to flooring and to our lunar surface. We're going to place the lunar surface in the yard here just finish that one off same thing on the left hand side like so just to get it sorted like that we could put a perimeter wall around the outside but that's going to be quite expensive we can see that some stuff was just delivered there into these these cells we can see that things are getting placed and we have a fire i think no subsidence the subsidence of the land has destroyed a section of our outer wall. You sh should have it repaired immediately. Yes, that, that is something I will endeavour to do. Walls and doors. Walls Utani. Clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy. And... Hmm. I'm not saying this visitor, Jerome's lawyer here, was directly responsible for that. But it was just a little bit too much of a coincidence for them to suddenly go near the wall, the wall disappear... And then they run past it. Let me prioritise the building of that. There's a lot of rubble to dump here. But that should be sorted. Probably need to go ahead and place that lunar surface back in. Just for aesthetic touch, you understand. And then back over to staff one. And, ooh. Thought that would be removed for a second there, but no. That's definitely correct. That's fine. Okay. So that is now in. You can see that the money, daily cash flow, gone right down. Back to what we classed as normal. In terms of the utilities, we are still in need of heating. So let's place that in there. Place that in there. We should now have the ability to designate all of this. I'll just double check. Staff only. Staff only. Minsec. There we go. The problem with this, essentially that these prisoners will then not be able to clean over here. Which is something I was thinking of doing, or do the laundry rather. But, having access to the laundry will just... There'll be a huge amount of contraband being nicked from here. Let's go over to... Intelligence and Dangers. Rope. 
tools slash uh, tools and improvised. So you can they can take the rope. Rope is classed as a, is a digging implement in the game for some reason. It's classed as a digging implement, and that means they can start tunneling out. I don't think they would, but they could. Certainly, the low risk prisoners might do that. The, they can also tie it together. You can't do it in escape mode, but you can tie it together in... in well, they can tie it together in the game and then start to, yeah, go over the walls. So having access to that is not ideal and indeed not really something I want to have anywhere. Let's see if we can open up Minsec. We'll do that. Intake is currently zero, which is interesting interesting that's definitely minimum sec only and some of these cells are legitimate so I'm concerned straight away if I put up the share then what happens nothing there wouldn't be anything to do with that And, oh, shell had damaged. Prioritize that. So why can we not receive any prisoners from Minsec? It's definitely set up as that. Wouldn't be anything to do with this because we've been getting prisoners coming in anywhere. Let's turn on Criminally Insane, which we should only get four, which we have. So we know that the designations are correct. It's just this isn't working. It might need to be... Co Look at that. They always go they're going to this one. This one is closer, but they prefer that yard. I mean, it might just be they're interested in the building. It's possible. Hang on. Four criminally insane. They've just turned up. But then they haven't. Ah, oh, it'll be because these trucks haven't moved down. Once the trucks move down, that'll go to zero. Because it's been ordered, but it hasn't yet come down. There you go. Yeah. At least it was a neck. It's a strange, but at least expected behaviour from the game. So, I guess they just need to finish this off. You can see the amount of money that we spent on that one. Quite a decent amount of money. We haven't got any grading on. I'll double check that. Use cell quality ratings is not there, so that's fine. So I don't know why we can't get any prisoners here. Normally what would happen is, once you start building each of the cells, once it's complete, and, well, as long as it doesn't have that marker on, it should come, you have know, people coming there straight away. Lock that open. Lock that open, as we normally do. Let's try and work the problem then. It might just be that that needs to be sorted. Just going to double check the deployment. That is shared. We can see that that is shared. This is all staff only, which is not unreasonable, but I'll do that. That didn't do anything, which is what we expected, so we'll put that back. That's all correct. That's all correct. This, I'll put a shared. Still not. Intake. We've got minsec done. Just going to change some of these. Total prisoners. Filter 8. No. Number per day. So number per day will receive. We will be able to receive if we go for numbers per day. But if I would say fill capacity. It doesn't have any intake. Okay. Well, I'll let the workers crack on and do what they're supposed to do. That Maybe it's just, it's just a case of that being finished. Oh, now, now it is definitely finished. I can clearly see that that is definitely finished. Hmm. Okay. Let's put the rest in and we'll see what we have. So, we'll connect all of that up. We'll connect up the large pipe. Like, so we will connect up all of the hot water pipes. So, the hot water will go across and then up. And similarly, the other side. Like so. We'll then run that to there. Run it to there. That's just all the hot water pipes for now. I'll run the other ones in but a moment. And there's the hot water pipes. We'll have to go for these uh, 
electrical cable run down to there same on that side should have done that originally but there you are and then finally plumbing it's a lot of utilities it's because we have got the shower and the drain in there as well as the radiator I mean the amount of money you spend is I wouldn't call it unreasonable but it's unexpected it uh, tends to catch you a little bit off guard let's decrease the bank loan to zero and I'm still unsure why that is not working okay Hmm. Maximum safe capacity is 80. And criminally insane capacity is 60. Why is it not stating that we can have... It's obviously counting. It understands that the maximum safe capacity is set. So it has counted these cells because it's, it's up to 80. But it's not saying that any of this can be low risk even though we've specifically got it changed over to that let's put that to shed and then it changes it to 80 that's still 80 okay is that basically saying that we can't have any Normal or low risk or standard non criminal insane inmates? Must have padded cells. Oh! That's what it is! It's padded cells straight away as soon as I read the top bit. Yep, yeah, okay, my mistake. Rooms, at least we know. Cells. Done. Done. That's all it'll be. Yep. Got ya. Yeah. Right. Through me for a second. Job done. Right, finally. <laughs> that That's what it was. Yeah. And uh, plus 10 um, appreciation points slash uh, congratulatory points if you managed to work that out before me, which almost certainly you did. Yes, it was padded cells that I'd placed there because the designation is different. It not only does the... Not only is the designation different, which makes total sense, but it changes the look of it. So you can see there's, there's padded walls around the outside, whereas these ones, they have this standard walls. The floor is still padded because we've cloned it, but it's just that. Okay, that's fine. As long as I know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it makes perfect sense now, hindsight being what it is. So, there we are. Right. Um, Not too bad. Eight hours to go. We'll get 20 minimum security. And one criminally insane inmate. That'll be a decent intake. And we'll have some interesting things to do. We'll have to put in a phone tap. Well, I say have to. We don't have to do any of this stuff. But we will put in a phone tap. We will move the library around so people can then work in there. We'll also do the same so we can have people in the common room. And almost certainly in here, but let's double check actually. Let's go over to intelligence and then dangers. We can see that the mail room, it doesn't matter. You can sort in there. Uh, they, so they can work in there, no problem at all. The classroom, same thing, no contraband. However, fountain pen and scissors can be stolen from here, from the library. But at the same time, that will fulfill the need. And let me double check. Hmm, literature need is being fulfilled anyway, so it's just luxuries. Okay, we'll see how we get on next episode and see whether or not there's going to be a massive problem with these two types of prisoners colliding. I don't think there will be, but you never know. As always, if you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.